A man is tied to a chair against his will. Ah! Frick me! Oh, you goddamn it, game! Oh, as a clear blue sky, and there never was before to. Hello? Oh, yeah, that was me. Kicked out? Uh. Uh. Just got kicked out, guys. Just kicked out of my own house. Because of noise complaints. I'll teach them! Welcome to the Watson Scott Test. Uh, a lot of people suggested me this on Twitter because I was complaining because I don't know what to record. I've got this new office and I'm so freaking motivated to record, guys. But I really, I really don't know what to do and it's really stressful. Um, so I saw this and apparently it's, it like tests your personality and what you, what you're scared of and then something happens. So it's an interesting video because you guys get to learn a bit about me and my fears and stuff. So yeah. Let's click start, and let's just get straight into it, boys. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and underlying causes of your darkest fears. Okay. For each question, select the response which give gives the best and most truthful answer. Bloody hell, these are very slow. Slow freaking typing. Who is this guy making this test? Watson Scott. You're a very slow typer. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation, okay? Give me the first question. Please note that typically only 13% of Participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest, resulting in death. <laughs> hey! What did you guys do? Are you guys trying to kill me? Hey! What is this? Let's do it anyway. Come on, old heart. You've got this, bro. You've been through more than just a test, surely. Okay. Firstly, some calibration questions. Oh, God. Okay. Bring it on, Watson Scott. How many minutes are there in one hour? 60. 60 minutes. What is it? Oh, I thought that was like glowing red, but it was my mouse. Let me double check this, boys. I mean, it's pretty... Yeah, it's not... It's 60. I thought it was going to be a trick question. If there are three oranges and I take away two, how many are left? So there's three on oranges and he takes away two. One. One. Wait. If the, the, uh, 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 these might be trick questions. There's three oranges, right? He takes away two. There's one left. Yeah, that's right. I think. Are you playing a game right now? What, me or me playing the game? Because I am playing a game. But is life a game, guys? Eh? Is, is, is life a game? You never know. Um, I'm going to say no. Because... Is he talking about the game itself or life itself? Life is a game, guys. No. I'm just saying no. Are you sure it's not a game? Yeah. It's not a game. Life's... Whatever. Can ah! Ah! Your test will begin now. Okay. Let's go for it. That scared me. Static scared me. It's raining outside, and you're walking in bare feet. 
you take one step forward and crush a snail. No! Guys, that would kill me. I'd feel very sad. Guilty. Guilty. Because I, I always feel bad. Like, I, I, when I see snails on the road, I avoid them. So I'd feel very guilty. There's a knock at your door. You open it to find an old woman in tattered clothes. She says she's being chased and wants to hide inside your home. Uh, you tell her to seek help down the road, offer to call the police while she waits outside, quickly invite her inside, say nothing and close the door. Okay, so I would call the police, but it says quickly invite her inside as well, one of the two. Those would be my two choices. Uh, I'd, 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 in, I'd invite her inside. That's that's what I would do. That's what I would do. That's what I would legit do. You're at a farm. You make eye contact with a cow in the field. The farmer says its name is Samuel. It's dinner time. Oh no. And the farmer serves you a plate of ribeye steak. Uh, <sighs> Stab the farmer with your knife. Politely request a vegan option. Thank the farmer for the meal. Say nothing. Um, <laughs> I would thank the farmer for the meal. Honestly. Um... I'm not vegan, but I, I do I do not eat a lot of meat at all. Um, I have like one piece of meat a week at the moment, but like I would eat all the steak because I would be grateful for it. You know, I wouldn't waste the food. I never waste meat, so I'd thank the farmer for the meal. That's what I honestly would do. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image. Will not move. Okay. Is that a spider? It's, it's like a snake. Snake, spider, a flower. It's going to ask me what it is and it's going to be like... How did that... Oh. How did that image make you feel? Fine. Uh, nothing. I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel peaceful, terrified, nervous. I didn't feel any of those emotions. So, nothing. I didn't feel anything. Do you believe in ghosts? Um. I. 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 I, I <laughs> that's a dumb question. Um, I'd say I'm in the middle, but there's not. I don't know. There's an undecided, but I am decided because I, I don't know. So I would say yes for now. Because I do feel like there's something, but it doesn't have to be a ghost. Have you ever seen a ghost? Um, I don't think I have. I think, I think things have happened weirdly in the past. But I haven't... I don't think I've physically seen something where it's been weird and I'm like freaked out by it and it disappears or something. When you're younger you do see things but that's like your brain and stuff being like you know imagination is pretty big as a child but who knows because I'll tell you a story guys I was in bed one night and my fish tank I had a fish tank in my room so there was a desk and wardrobes, right? And the, my bed was at the back. And I was lying down on my bed, looking at the fish tank. I woke up in the middle of the night. And I was ill, by the way. I was ill. I think I, I had... I was ill. I think I had a fever or something. And when you have a fever, you hallucinate stuff. Um, but the fish tank has a reflection at the back of it. A mirror. And I looked in the fish tank and I swear I saw a face of something. So I screamed and ran downstairs. So... Who knows? I, 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 I don't, that was obviously my imagination. I had a fever. I'll put on sure. Weird, spooky story, guys. Think about the room you're in right now. A new house, a new office. Has anyone ever died there? No. No. Because it's a new build. 
It's a brand new house, so I'm the first person to live here. Unless it was built on top of a cemetery. But not yet. <laughs> there could be... There's, there's got to be bones of something underneath. Hmm. Very... Atypical... Results. Okay. Yeah, my, my, my answers were just normal. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following question statement, sorry. Okay, let's go. I have a vivid imagination. Yes, I strongly agree with that. My brain is awesome. I love my brain because I can imagine basically everything. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. Um, no, like I said, I, I, it's a new build, and the house, my parents' house, was a new build as well when we when they bought it. So I don't really think about ghosts. I think about sometimes when I'm alone, I think about things like maybe somebody watching outside the window. I wouldn't say a ghost. I just, I'd, I'd say disagree. I'd say disagree on that one. Some people deserve to die. Why did I hear some leaves crunching on my right earphone? Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> How am I supposed to answer that? I can't really say. Um, obviously, some people do. Because they do bad things. Re like, people who do really, really, really bad things, you know. Bad, bad, bad things. Like, the worst things you could do. I would say so. But everybody deserves a second chance. So, uh, um, I'd, I'd say... I'd say... I'd say... I'd say disagree. But also agree. There's not a middle mark. Of, uh, uh, maybe there was. I think there was an undecided one. Whoops. I would know if someone was trying to kill me. Yeah, I, I, I think I'd know. Yeah, I'll just put agree on that one. There is an unexpected guest in my house. <laughs> Don't do this to me, Gary, because I am actually home alone right now. Um... And I've been at home alone in the house for a while. And um, so... In the game, there was a knock on the door, but not my door. So, strongly disagree. Come on, game. I'm challenging you right now. Bring it on. Nobody would know if I went missing. Strongly disagree. You guys would know. If, if I stopped making videos... For a month, for a year, you'd know that something's wrong if I didn't say anything. So strongly disagree. I've got my fan base. Game. Watson Scott. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. Um, Poetry's pretty cool, but I, I feel like painting is a good expression of emotions and... There's a lot of other things you can do to express yourself. So I'll put disagree. Because I think painting is there. Uh, you need an attitude readjustment. Excuse me? I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Let me demonstrate. Okay. Okay, let's go for it. Tell me a poem, Watson Scott. Roses are red. Silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. Congratulations. Only 41% of participants typically reach this point in the examination. Guys, I, lock, I have my door locked, so... I think. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? Go for it. I'm ready. Go for it. I hope my door's locked. 
<laughs> How far away is the closest police station? Um, it's less than a 15 minute walk, mate, if you're gonna try and kill me. How well do you know your neighbours? I know the man across the road, and he's always in. He's an old man called Pete. He knows what he's doing, so he looks after this house. Um, so I'd say we are acquaintances. I'd say we're like in the middle. What the hell are these noises? How long can you hold your breath under water? Two minutes. Uh... I can hear lots of noises in the background, guys. Getting a bit spooky. More than 41 seconds. I've got big lungs, guys, even if one collapsed. <laughs> when faced with conflict, your preferred method of resolution is um, talking. I try and negotiation. Negotiation. That's what I would say. I would try and negotiate what's wrong. You know, we can sort this out. You're alone in a pod at the top of a Ferris wheel, 400 feet in the air, when it suddenly stops. A fire has broken out below. The operator speaks over the intercom. Everyone is going to die a slow, painful death. But if you jump... I will catch you. Oh my god! Um. Oh my god. Contemplate your existence before being set on fire. I would jump anyway, guys. You, you, I might break my legs or I might die. But it, 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 it would be a lot better than being burnt. Why can't I just climb down the ferry wheel? Why don't I just try and climb down? Um, I would jump. I would just jump off and be caught. Even if he wasn't going to catch me. I will now show you an image. Okay. Show me. Go for it. The image will not speak. Okay, that's a bit weird. Again, it looks... It, it looks like a spider. I'm not... I don't just don't feel anything. I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel scared or peaceful, afraid, uneasy, violent. I felt nothing. Again. Didn't feel anything. I wasn't scared by it. I'll ask this one more time. Excuse me. Are you playing a game right now? Um... <laughs> Uh, no! I'm just gonna say no again. Do you know th that I'm a good person? Um. I don't know. I mean, you, you said that somebody's in my house. You didn't say he was trying to kill me. I mean, I could have offered him a cup of tea or something. So let's say yeah. Of course you're a good person. You're not trying to kill me. Oh. Um, no, I'm being nice. I'm being nice to you. Because, you know, I said that... Lying is forbidden. Oh, stuff. Okay, maybe I was lying. Maybe I was lying. I was just trying to be nice. Because, you know, my form of talking to somebody who's trying to kill me would be to ne negotiate. I don't know any of that, and I haven't played any of them. So he's going to know that now. He's going to be like, yes, he doesn't know how to fight. Please select any of the following industries that you have a co occupational experience in. Okay. Law enforcement. Look, all of these. Look. Look, he's, he's trying to get information out of me to try and kill me. Oh, he doesn't know how to fight. He's not in the law enforcement. He's not in the military. I'm going to kill him. What an easy picking. But I've got to be honest. Do you trust me to do the right thing? 
Yeah, the right thing would be to not kill me and have a cup of tea with me. What is the next number in the following sequence? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I'm inside, why would I want to, why would I reply, I'm inside your house? <laughs> 50, mate. Your recent an answers indicate you are exhibiting a fight or flight response. And maybe a risk of an acute stress reaction. I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. I'm fine. Am I? Only when you are calm. Continue. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. What the freaking hell is going on? Okay. Okay, guys. I've opened my door. You can see it open. Oh, God. That's actually quite spooky because it's, it's dark, guys. It's gone dark. Okay. I did it. Okay. Did you look away from your screen? Yeah, I did. I opened the door. So I did. Do you think I can tell when you look away from the, your screen? I just looked away. I'm going to put maybe, because I looked away and you didn't know. So, do you feel safe in your house right now? Um... I'll be <laughs> unsure. I can't even say yeah. Um, I did feel a bit anxious then, so I shut my door because I don't like I don't like having doors open when I record. That's just not because I'm scared. I just don't like it. Um, I'd say unsure because I do feel safe because I know I've locked the door. So yeah. Are you having fun? You know what? This is this has been okay. This has been enjoying. I've enjoyed this. What? I'm not lying, Watson Scott. I'm recording it, so I'm enjoying it. Please ignore any external, external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Nope. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Okay. Okay, let's not look away from the screen. I haven't looked... Yes! I haven't looked away from the screen. I'm looking at you directly. If you move, you might get stabbed. Okay, well, I haven't moved. Singing is relaxing. What do I choose? All around the Morbury bush. The monkey chased the weasel. The monkey pop. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Up and down the city road. In and out the eagle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. All around the mulberry bush. The monkey chased the weasel. The monkey stops to pull you side. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Up and down the city road. In and out the eagle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Jimmy's got a wish in the wind. This is the office on my left here. Pop goes the weasel. Every night when I go out, the monkey's on the table. So you can knock it off. Don't ignore. Ignore. Do not look away from the screen, Lewis. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Up and down the sea road. And, oh. Okay, I can hear breathing. Ah! <laughs> Your results are being processed. Thank you, Watson Scott. I was. I knew that was going to... I knew it was coming. I survived the Watson Scott test. I did. <laughs> oh my god! You stupid game! Freak me! Oh, easily manipulated. Foolish with money. Have a firm handshake. Stepping on snails makes me feel guilty. Yes, it does. 
I'm most afraid of being beaten to death with a hammer. Um, okay. I'm not easily manipulated. Uh, no, 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 I'm not. I know when I'm being manipulated, but I don't say anything if I am. I just go, I just go with the flow. I don't like to cause drama. I don't like to argue. I just, I, I, I do get annoyed inside, like, I, I can clearly see someone's doing it, but I just don't say anything because it's better that way, for me personally. Foolish with money, no, uh, I'd say 50-50, um, but yeah, we're going to carry on because I said there was another test, so let's go yes and see what it's like. Um, very well. Bring it on, Watson Scott. I enjoyed the first quiz, and hopefully you guys did too. The second test is designed to challenge your fear tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Ignorance will be punished. Okay. Okay, I'll be honest. Let's be honest, guys. Like, like last test. I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your answers will be used in the development of future tests. Okay. Complete this test. What the hell? 666. As quickly as possible for the accurate results. Oh, God. But do not let that clock concern you. It is nothing to be concerned about. It was started at 666, so I am a little bit concerned. Okay. After the examination you will have a better sense of purpose and a stronger resolve. I want you to be stronger. Do you want to be stronger? It depends what you mean. If you want me to face my fears more, yeah, I'll be stronger facing fears. That's always good, even though I'm good at facing fears anyway. How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet? What? I'm just going to put the 204. I don't know. Incorrect. 0112. What's the next? 3. Say 3. Correct? That is correct. Okay, we got that one right. Do you think you're smart? I'd say I'm okay. Fibonacci. Uh, I'll just put yes, even though I'm not dumb. I didn't say I was special. Um, exotic butters. A dead meme. He's going to say incorrect. But what am I supposed to say to that? See? You're not smart enough. Guys, I see a mask in the background. I saw a mask in the background. How many times per year does the average human heart beat if it is not stabbed? Um, uh, well, let's say the average is 80 beats per minute. So, and there's 80 times 60 times 24. Um, a year, I'm going to say about 30 million. Oh my god, okay! <laughs> yes! One of the most venomous land snakes in Australia. The Death Adder. Acanthophis artarchitis. Bites an adult woman, injecting a highly deadly neurotoxin. How long would the woman have to live? I'm going to say, um... 24 minutes. It could be an hour, though. But I'm going to say 24 minutes. I'm going to say an hour. I'm going to say an hour. I should have said 24 minutes! God damn it! A man is tied to a chair against his will. <laughs> Frick me! Oh, you god damn it, game! Oh. A man is tied to the chair. Pulverized pig's intestines are poured in. Um, I think a body can hold like two litres. No, but I'm going to say five litres. Because two litres would be two litres of water. Yeah. Okay, good job, guys. We've got that right. A fear of butterflies is called... 
Um, it's not claustrophobia, ligrophobia. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, electrophobia. I just guessed, guys. I don't know what it is. A boy with no arms is facing west. He walks forward for 60 seconds and goes 90 degrees left. He sees someone running at him, so he turns 100 degrees to run. Which way is the boy facing? So he's north, east, south, west. Wait, no, what? Where? No, north? No. South? North? North? Okay. Thank you, game. Oh god, I've only got 60 seconds. That's going down really fast, though. How do tape worms enter their host? Um, um, larvae ingested by humans. Because you eat the eggs. Okay. Okay, that's timer's not working anymore. Death. Please choose the third response. This is not a trick. I will not scare you if you do what I say. Okay, I am not going to scare you if you choose this, okay? <gasps> Correct. What is a positive electrode called? Um, I don't freaking know. Um, uh, an, an, a, a diode, an, a cathode, a triode. I'm gonna say a triode. <laughs> I was gonna say anode, but I thought a triode. I don't know. What was the best video game released in 2014? Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> God damn it! My right to Freddy's boys! What is my favourite thing to do? Listen to jazz. <laughs> I'm okay. The test is now complete. Oh, okay. Your results are very helpful. Your participation was adequate. There are no more tests. Okay, that one was a short one, so we can add this onto the video. We are done here for now. Okay. Thanks. I'm so sick of watching. I want to start. What? Goodbye. Oh, and the game closed. Well, there you go, boys. That was interesting, and we got a few jump scares. Um, so, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's was not, was not his favourite game of the year. So, there you go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate the support. Uh, that was a very interesting game. So, thank you, uh, Watson Scott, for that interesting test. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Thank you for the support. Lots of love, and I'll see you all next time.